Okay, so first of all, I want to give you a shikaf to the Bakram. We'll do this every week. The, uh, how long are you doing this year? 12 Ooh. years. 12 years in the Bronx. And oh, now it came, now it came oh, out. It's demonstration, I was saying. Ma. Ashir. Yes. 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 Okay, so we just, Baruch Hashem, finished, I shouldn't say the word finished, by Chabad we don't say finished. A Yom Tif, we, we packaged another Yom Tif we have under our belt, as we say in, uh, in English, another Yom Tif, and we have to take the lessons of Pesach and uh, use it for the rest of the year. So there's so many lessons of Pesach, right? Uh, we spent Pesach together, so... Uh, Every day somebody, every day somebody said a dvar Torah. Everybody said somebody said dvar Torah, and we learned, we learned uh, many interesting lessons from Pesach. But in Chabad, there is a saying with Aflavim with the Tzayim. You have to live with the times, and when it, when it's living with the times, it doesn't mean with the New York Times. It means with the it means with the Parsha Sashavua. Isn't it funny that in this week's Parsha, the Parsha that we just finished celebrating Pesach. What does the Pasik say over here? Hashem Hashem says to Moshe, You just spent so many years in Mitzrayim, don't behave like them. I took them, I took you out of Mitzrayim, don't behave like them. I took you out of Mitzrayim, and I'm bringing you to Eretz Kanan. I don't want you to behave like them either. And you don't follow any Goyish way. So some of the beautiful commentaries I saw from the Sfas Emes, he says, it doesn't say Ma Se Eretz Mitzrayim, or Ma Se Eretz Kanan. It says Ki Ma Se. What does Ki Ma Se mean? Even if you're not doing exactly what they do, don't try to even do slightly, even something that looks like them. A Yid always has to stand out. A Yid stands out in his speech, in his thought, in his actions, we stand out, we are meant to be different. And now we're experiencing it now. You hear what's going on in the news, it's crazy. We're, we're being uh, targeted all over. We are meant to stand out. We are not Mitzrayim, we are not Canaan. If anybody has a, a couple of minutes, you'll look later on, if you have the Or Chaim HaKadosh, has a beautiful shot on this passage. He says, Kimatzer, it's Mitzrayim, Asher Yishaftim. What should I do? We live, what do you think, over here, it's America so rosy for us to do? It's not so rosy. We have a lot of crazy people around us, too, that we, we sh why, what's unique? Huh? Absolutely. So what is Mitzrayim and Canaan unique? So the, the, the Ur HaChaim HaKadosh actually says, Asher Yishaf Tembo. Don't let it, uh, uh, Yeshiva, it says in Pele Yoyitz, why is a Yeshiva called a Yeshiva? A place where these Bacham are studying a Yeshiva. Why a Yeshiva? Yeshiva means to sit. Yeshiva means more than that. Yeshiva means to concentrate, to meditate. Even though you are amongst Goyim, don't, don't let it penetrate in you. We, we, they, we are always being tested, but don't let it, you have to understand that we are better. We are better. So I saw a beautiful shot now. We said many days, hallow. What do we say in, in hallow? A beautiful passage. Hashem will may ashpois yorim evyoim, What's the literal translation? May Ashpa is Yorim Evyon from the garbage. Ashpa is the garbage. He'll, he'll pick up a poor man. Ashpa and he'll put him in the Divay Amoy, right? What is the definition of an Evyon? In Hebrew, there's an Ani, there's a Rosh. What's an Evyon? So Rashi says that Evyon is a Toy of a Choldover. Somebody who's never happy, he's never satisfied, who always needs more, he's an evyon. So evyon means a desire. He always a lust, a desire. So I heard the beautiful shot. Your um, evyon, your your desires will be channeled instead of having it in junk, in garbage, instead of being ch channeled for gashmias and garbage and junk. Will take your 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 desires, your evyon, your ratzon, and shift shift it to to much better things. We have to train ourselves to know what's good for us and what's not good for us. And yes, we're being tested every single day. 
But just the Abish that gives us the Kayach. I saw, I saw something today. I, I don't know how, how it adds up. We all sat around the Seder and we read how many, how many Nisim were there in Mitzrayim. <clears throat> so everybody knows there were 10 Machnas and then there's some more Nisim on the Yam. There's a, a three way Machlaikis. Was it 10, 50? Was it 200? Sure. And everybody. So I saw one of the commentaries says if you accumulate all numbers together, I didn't, to me, it didn't add up, but he is an authority. If you take all numbers together, it adds up Tayyad, 613. And he says, just like we have Tayyad mitzvahs, the 613 mitzvahs, each way is a way to become closer to Hashem. There are 613 stumbling blocks, Nisyonot, stopping us from becoming closer to Hashem. Every mitzvah is another jin, another, I, I, I passed this test, I passed this test. And it's a struggle. And that's what we are here in this world. There is one of this one of the svarim the Rebbe wrote is called the Hayom Yom, a small pisgum for every day. And this this week's ha, uh, Hayom Yom, the Rebbe speaks about the beginning of Parshas Achrei, where the Rebbe, where the Chumash speaks about the Avodah of Yom Kippur. And it says, you know, there was Shnei Seirim, two goats. One was La Hashem, one was La Zazo. So the Rebbe says, excuse, excuse me, that's not only Yom Kippur. Every single day, each one of us has to make decisions. Some things go to Hashem, and some things, as you guys say, Azazel, Lech la Azazel. All the, all the negative, we all, just like the Koyin had on Yom Kippur the power to send away a Sa'ir la Azazel and get rid of all the negative, each one of us, every single day, has to make choices and make the, the sorry of Hashem. And what's not good, we have the powers from that day from the Koyen Yom Kippur to send some things to Azazel. And we have to do that. There are two things in the, in the, in the Yom Tov of Pesach that seem to, it's obvious that it's everlasting. First of all, Pesach is not called Leil Shamur. It's called Leil Shimurim. Why? It happened, Makesh Mecheres happened one night. Why is it plural? Because that one massive miracle that took place gave us powers to have Leil Shimurim, multiple Leil Shimurim. We are now on the aftershocks of Pesach. Take advantage of it. And even the name Pesach, it only happened once that Hashem skipped over the Bate Mitzrayim. And yet the whole seven days, the whole eight days is called Pesach. So this gentleman spoke about this yesterday, and he says, Hashem skipped over once over the, the, the Mitzrayim's house, that gave us the powers from now on. We could make leaps and bounds. Hashem did it once, and now we have to change and not go baby steps. We just know what's right, throw the garbage away, and make big jumps, and we get prepared for it. You did this for so every now, you clean yourself, you prepare yourself for Matan Torah, you'll come ready and prepared for the, for the Matan Torah. Good?